Hi, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up SonicWall Single Sign-On in order to enable transparent user authentication on your SonicWall firewall. You're required to have completed the AD integration prior to implementing the Single Sign-On agent on the server and the configuration on the SonicWall. Let's jump into our AD domain controller to get this set up. The first thing that we need to do is log into our MySonicWall.com account. Within MySonicWall you'll be able to go to the download center and we need to find the directory services connector. We're going to download the latest version for our Windows operating system. Once the setup has been downloaded we need to install the agent. We're going to click next through the instructions here. We're going to enter the domain name of our local domain. We're going to enter our domain admin account. This can be any AD server account as long as it has administrative privileges. We're going to change the SonicWall appliance IP to the gateway IP of our SonicWall. We're going to enter the shared key which will be established between the directory connector and the SonicWall. This needs to be an even number of digits and characters. We're going to install. We're going to click to launch it and then finish. So here is the SSO agent installed on the domain controller. We now need to jump into the sonic wall to do the configuration on the firewall. On the sonic wall appliance we need to navigate to the manage section. We'll then need to go under system setup users and then settings. And the first thing we're going to do is enable the single sign on agent. I'm going to click accept to save and then we're going to configure single sign on so here we need to add the SSO agent we're going to enter the IP of the domain controller that we have the SSO agent installed on we're going to enter the shared key that we established and we're going to click save and then we're going to click on apply and OK. We're then going to go back in to configure the options. The green light will indicate that the connection between the sonic wall and the server has been established. Within the enforcement tab we can actually enforce the single sign-on so anyone that goes through that network zone will need to have the SSO authentication in order to proceed and send traffic through that network zone. On the test tab we can check that the agent is installed correctly and the connectivity between the sonic wall and the agent is successful by clicking the test button and we'll get the agent is ready with NetAPI and WMI so those are the protocols that I use to read uh, the usernames from the machines. In order to ensure that your single sign-on agent is successfully working and connected, uh, we can try and do a check user test on the workstation in order to pull the username. So I'm going to use the IP of the machine where my user is logged in. I'm going to run test. And here we go, we can identify that user1 is logged in to the domain on the sonic wall. Uh, user was identified via net API. So now in our reporting we'll be able to see that the username uh, will show rather than the IP address of the machine. So if you have a lot of dynamic hosts this will help identify which users are, are accessing which resources on the internet. If you're having issues connecting to your machines using the single sign-on tool, uh, the SonicWall directory connector has a diagnostic tool which will provide you with any error messages that may come up when connecting to machines. Uh, the most important things to be able to connect to the machines is to make sure that you enable 
Windows management instrumentation, WMI, both in and out on the local firewall on the domain controller and on the machine. Make sure that remote desktop connections are allowed on the machine. Uh, make sure that file and print sharing is turned on and make sure that the machine is joined to the, the domain. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for further video tutorials and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. For all things firewall related, visit us at firewalls.com.